So after I uh, do some healing work on people, <laughs> a lot of times I'm asked, you know, how did you learn how to do that? I mean, I've, I've literally even had, uh, you know, doctors of chiropractic medicine going, where did you learn that? I didn't learn any of that in any of my schooling or whatever. And it was quite interesting to say, tell them, well, I'm listening to the energy and, you know, this is an intuitive uh, ability cross related with all of my medical background and you know the studies that I've done in the past but there's not really a place that you can go to find out exactly I haven't I haven't got it all prescribed out it's part of listening within because we all have this ability to tap into other people to feel what needs to happen and as we are able to generate more energy and be able to to change the energy flow like traditional acupressure or Ayurvedic uh, theory suggests that there's only one true dis-ease or disease, sorry, it is dis-ease that we can actually change that flow just with our attention and our energy. So, uh, you know, uh, laying of hands, healing energy medicine is, is getting more and more popular these days and I'm such a fan because we all have this magic light inside of us. We can do amazing things simply with our desire to do so. But uh, people ask me, where did you learn this? And you know, where I really like, I can do this. Hit me like a freaking freight train. Um, so Dr. Heru, he actually used to be really, really, really good friends with the former president of Indonesia, uh, President Gustur. And President Gustur actually sent his daughter and uh, his niece over here. Dr. Heru was watching them and you know, they were staying with Dr. Heru. He was being their chaperone and security and all that kind of stuff. And so anyway, he brings uh, Dr. Or, sorry, President Castor's daughter here to our house, and we ended up going out into the mountains and then going fishing down at the lake. And you know, we're just on an outdoor adventure. And anyway, he comes in and he just puts me right on the spot. He says, "Okay, Mas Mike, she's hurting. Something's wrong with her. She doesn't believe that you have you know vibra vision that you can see what's wrong." And I'm sitting there going, "What? You just taught me that last week." All right, I guess I'll try. So she's standing over in, our, in my kitchen. And she like puts her hands on her hips and like, I don't believe it. You're not going to be able to tell me what's wrong. And I just stepped back inside, released all expectation of myself and said, okay, what do I see? What else is going on here? And all of a sudden there was just this big cloud over her, her stomach. And I was like, so unconfident at this point. I'm like, um something with their stomach and she's like oh my gosh how could you know that <laughs> dr hair is over at the corner laughing at her because he you know obviously caught me off guard put me on the spot and said boom go and uh i just barely barely started tapping into my ability to do this here i have a complete skeptic who this is her culture this is her her you know uh Indonesian lifestyle, they do a lot of energy healing and, and whatnot. She's totally non-believer. And here's this foreigner in her, uh, you know, far away from home telling her, boom, this is exactly what happened. So it was a very, very compelling and very powerful uh, event in my life that said, I'm not joking around. This is real. I can really do this. I can see. I can see what's not seen. And the cool part is, guys, we can all do this. It's like with VibraVision, we learn how to have a X-ray, an MRI, and a CAT scan all in one. We can go through someone else's body and find out what's imbalanced. So I encourage you all to explore that within yourself because we all have this power. It is something that we are born with and you have it too.